able to join. Hi there, I'm Julie with ModCloth Social Media Team, and I'm here with Mila Pikarek <laughs> and um, of the Lumineers, and we're having just a cool hangout today. We sourced your questions from different social media outlets, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Danila is going to ask some of your questions. And if you have any more, feel free to post in the Google Plus Hangout. So, um, Neela would like to read a question, um, something relating to style um, and relevant to Coachella. Do you know what you're wearing to Coachella? Yeah, well, <laughs> ModCloth was kind enough to um, send me some really practical and cute things for the weekends. Um, so we actually had our first weekend there last weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really, really fun. And on stage, I wore a mod cloth dress. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really cute. Um, pink polka dots and kind of stitched together. Um, and it was fun. Um, it was really windy, so it was dangerous. But it was really fun. Um, and then they included lots of sun hats and sunglasses and shirts to wear over because it gets really sunny during the day. Um, and then this weekend, I have a blue checkered dress from mod cloth that I'll wear. Awesome. Um, how does, another question, how does what you wear on stage kind of make it, or how does what you wear make a difference in your music and stage presence, would you say? Well, I think it's always important to feel comfortable. Um, it's funny because your, when you're in school and you do a school speech, they always encourage you to dress up just so you feel like your best self. And I think that's true for performing where it doesn't necessarily mean being dressed up or wearing something really fancy, but just something that you feel like there's a lot of people watching you, <laughs> so you want to feel comfortable either way. Um, so I always try to wear something that's very me and that I look like myself, um, and that's fun to play in. And I play a cello, so I can't wear anything too short. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play any other instruments other than um, cello? Yeah, cello is the one I, I kind of play well, but <laughs> I can play <laughs> piano and guitar and mandolin. Um, I play electric bass on one of our songs, but there's only about five notes, so. Um, but yeah, I went to school for education, and as a music teacher, you have to be at least familiar with each family of instruments. So I took like a brass class and a percussion class, and reeds and all that in college. But I wouldn't say I'm good at any of those instruments. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, speaking of teaching, uh, somebody asked, "What is your biggest advice for young singers?" <laughs> um, well, I think um, I've been singing for a long time, and I went to school for vocal music, um, and it was something that took a long time for me to get good at and um, I took lots of voice lessons and um, I sang all the time and keeping your voice really healthy um, things that dehydrate you, caffeine and alcohol <laughs> is a big one <laughs> um, and so really keeping your voice healthy and not doing um, things that damage it um, it's you know it's like any other um, like an athlete keeping your your muscles really um, I guess healthy, yeah, <laughs> and stretching, you know, warming up before you sing, things like that. Yeah. Um, when you guys are on tour and, like, you're traveling on bus and how, I guess, also related to style, is there, like, a limit, kind of, or <laughs> do you have to, like, pack, like, you know, for the road? It's one of the most stressful things, yeah. <laughs> it's getting better, though. I mean, we're, we're kind of expanding the space. And we all just got really big suitcases, which is nice. But there was a long time where we traveled with as little stuff as possible. Um, for about the first, gosh, eight, I would say eight months of touring, um, when we first started traveling together, we were in a Ford Windstar minivan with four people in it and all the gear. Um, so there was no room really to bring anything. Yeah. Um, so I always found stuff that was really compact and I would roll it up and, and keep it, uh, you know, and shoes were always a problem. But um, yeah, I think you, you, it's funny because I'll go home and I'll switch out my clothes and there's things that I miss. But I get back to my closet and I'm like, oh, I missed this outfit. And it always makes it like they're fresh clothes, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, when you're on tour um, or even, like, you know, in your personal life, do you find yourself using social media a lot? Um, yeah, in some ways. I think I used to use it a lot more um, for as an individual. Um, it was a really great way to keep in touch with people, and when we were touring and didn't have places to stay, 
Mm -hmm. It was a great way to get in touch with people and ask if they could sleep on their floors. Um, <laughs> but I think with the, I mean, the amount of correspondence that it took to keep up as things progressed with the band and just wanting a little bit of privacy. Um, I don't do as much as an individual, um, but I, I like to keep you know in touch with some people and and uh, you know this is a lifestyle that a lot of people don't get to live and it's really exciting and and um, so I like to you know, share a little bit of that, but still keep a little bit of privacy. Yeah, definitely. Um, what channels would you say that people could, you know, or what channels do you find yourself using? Um, I use Instagram and Twitter mostly, um, as far as social media goes. Um, and then the band, the band uses it quite a bit with our Facebook and things like that. And it's a good way to connect with fans um, and, and be able to have it, you know, reach out to them. I, I can't imagine what it was like to be a band like in the 70s when there was no computers or YouTube or things like that. You know, it's funny, people come to a show and it's almost like they know what to expect. Um, so trying to keep it fresh because there is that opportunity out there to, to spoil the surprise, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, relating back to clothing, somebody was wondering, what is your favorite article of clothing right now? Gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in London. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was in London not too long ago, and I found this really sweet Guns N' Roses onesie. It's like a wow. leotard. That's amazing. <laughs> and I wore it at Coachella last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird and hilarious. So, mm -hmm. I, I, at the moment, that's probably my favorite. <laughs> I need to go shopping on Monday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was quite a quite a find. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> um, I guess I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, yeah, is there anything that you want to mention about your upcoming concerts, like tour dates? Yeah, I mean, we're we're touring a ton, so um, I would check our website because we're probably coming to a place near you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think you know we're really proud of what the record um, ended up sounding like, but I think our live show is really our our bread and butter. Um, we really enjoy playing live, and um, we're playing a ton of festivals this summer, which I think is going to be really neat because it's kind of new to us. We played some last summer, but not a ton. Um, and so just the experience last weekend of Coachella was unlike anything we've ever done before, so we're looking forward to more of that this summer, the big festivals. Awesome. Well, I guess that about wraps up our Hangout. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the questions. Um, that were asked and, you know, getting a closer look into just, you know, hanging out with Nayla. <laughs> Thanks for sending in your questions. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.